UFO journalist Jeremy Corbell has recently released footage of a bizarre flying object that went viral within minutes. The video shows what he is calling a jellyfish UAP spotted in Iraq in 2018. And while other investigative journalists are trying to verify this footage, Corbell argues the Pentagon has already designated the object a UAP. Could this be the real deal? Do we finally have video evidence of an object of extraterrestrial origin? Let's find out. A new video released by UFO journalist Jeremy Corbell shows something that resembles a jellyfish flying, its tentacles dangling in the air. The video was apparently captured at a U.S. Joint Operations Base in Iraq, and according to Corbell, the Pentagon already knows about it and has classified the object as an unknown aerial phenomenon, or UAP. The footage was taken with thermographic slash forward-looking infrared radar, and you can see the object change its color quickly throughout the video. The object can be seen moving through a sensitive military installation before moving over water, beginning what Corbell describes as a controlled descent before submerging. However, this is not the complete video because the object re-emerged from the water 17 minutes later, only to disappear at startling speed. According to those familiar with the complete footage or who witnessed the event themselves, this object was not observable with night vision. It appeared to jam the targeting capability of the optical platform. The UAP displayed a positive lift without any apparent means of lift or thrust and didn't exhibit any signatures of propulsion. The object looks unlike anything anyone has seen before, and its shape completely contradicts everything we know about UFOs. It is neither disc-shaped nor triangular. In fact, it has no observable shape besides the fact that it looks like a jellyfish. How can authorities explain this object? When a professor of physics at the University of Albany, Dr. Matthew Seidegis, first saw this footage of an alleged UAP in Iraq, it reminded him of a pop culture icon, a Star Wars droid. He agreed that it was not a standard or a familiar shape for a UAP, but its shape wasn't the only thing that alerted him. The object changed its color rapidly, indicating a temperature change, but no known object can change temperature that fast. According to Sadagus, that implies either a camera artifact, that it's not really changing temperature that quickly, or it implies some sort of signature management, which would then beg the question, if you have that ability, why wouldn't you just stay invisible? A camera artifact is basically a smudge on the lens, and Zidagus isn't the only one to suggest its possibility. When Corbell posted the video on X, several people commented that the object might just be the effect of a smudged lens, but the professor doesn't think the lens should be blamed here. If you look at the video carefully, you can actually see the object's size alternating with the zoom. You can even see the camera reticle, the central foremarks on the camera that are changing position relative to the object. So if it's not a camera smudge, what is it? The simple answer is, no one knows. This video was captured in Iraq in 2018, making it almost six years old. Surely the Pentagon would know by now what unusual object was moving over its military installation, but so far, the Pentagon is quiet, and news channels have not received a comment from them on Corbell's leaked footage. What do you think the object is? Is it an extraterrestrial floating through a U.S. military base? Or does the object have a less sensational explanation? This isn't the first time Jeremy Corbell shocked everyone with leaked footage of bizarre UAPs. A few months ago, he released footage showing what appeared to be a spherical object floating in the air above the ocean, as it was observed by U.S. Navy sailors aboard the USS Omaha in July 2019. That video was recorded around the same time in July 2019, when several naval warships, including the USS Omaha, were conducting exercises off the coast of California. The military ships had been reporting drone-like objects tailing them at night, but no one was sure what they were. The footage showed a sphere-like object flying near the USS Omaha in windy and choppy conditions. The ball could be seen making a controlled flight over the ocean for an extended period before splashing into the sea and disappearing. As expected, the video was met with mixed reactions. Some criticized his reporting abilities, asserting that the object was nothing more than a balloon that dropped into the water and that the video didn't prove any extraterrestrial involvement. Corbell didn't take these comments lightly and released a second video, this time recorded directly from inside the ship's combat information center. The second video Corbell released showed the military radar being observed by sailors in Omaha, but it wasn't just showing the one balloon, but almost 14 flying objects circling the warship. 
According to him, the second video of the radar was corroborative electro-optic data, the likes of which the world has never seen before. It showed and supported the idea that several unknown objects were swarming the Navy warship. It was also an attempt to debunk speculation around the first video, where spectators suggested that the object was a fake or a balloon that dropped in the ocean. In 2019, he shared an 18-second clip showing three UFOs hovering over the USS Russell, later confirmed as authentic by the Navy. Multiple UAP sightings have been reported at U.S. military bases, but the Pentagon has repeatedly maintained that there isn't enough evidence to suggest any of the objects were extraterrestrials. One of the more recent sightings was in 29 Palms, California, in April 2021. That story was also revealed by Jeremy Corbell. 29 Palms Base is one of the largest military bases on planet Earth. It is a marine base spanning nearly 1,200 square miles, and its combat center is hailed as the largest Marine Corps base in the world. In 2021, Corbell received a tip that something had happened at the Palms base and that people may have photographed or filmed the event. In the next 36 hours, he was able to track over 50 witnesses who claimed they saw a triangular-shaped craft hovering over the base. According to eyewitnesses, the craft was quietly suspended in the air, not descending or flying away. Corbell's first instinct was that they must be flares, since it was spotted right above the military base, but everybody was reporting that they saw the body of a craft. Also, flares don't stay in the same place for a solid 10 minutes, and the lights that appeared on the Marine base remained stationary for quite long. Slowly, as more footage came in, he could make out the shape of the craft for himself, and what he saw was shocking. It was a triangular-shaped craft hovering silently above one of the world's largest marine bases. And it wasn't just seen by a single person, but over 50 people, including men from the military. Unfortunately, when it was time to give some answers, the Department of Defense refuted all claims of a UFO sighting at the military base and said that a training course was going on then. The department's spokesperson also asserted that the Pentagon's office that tracks UAPs didn't have any record of the incident. Apparently, there was no record of communication with the base range control concerning a UAP sighting, and no base resources had been allocated to investigate a UAP sighting. The explanation sounds rational, but if there was a training course going on at the time, everyone on the base would have known about it, meaning they wouldn't have been surprised by an airborne craft suddenly appearing out of nowhere. But their surprised reaction to the uninvited aerial guest suggested that no training course was being carried out then. Why do you think the U.S. government continues to deny the connection between UAPs and extraterrestrials, especially when they have accepted that many of these UAPs cannot be explained? What do you think about this recently leaked footage of the jellyfish UAP? Is it something out of this world or could it have a mundane explanation? Also, how do you think the government will get out of this sticky situation? Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification for more videos.